ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் நமஸ்காரா நமஸ்தே வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு யோர் கப் ஆஃப் டீ சேனல் டுரீஸ் ரெசிபி இஸ் அ ஸ்வீட் ரெசிபி விச் இஸ் வெரி ரிச் அண்ட் டெலிஷியஸ் மவுத் வாட்டரிங் தட் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் பிரெட் அல்வா ஸோ கைஸ் லெட்ஸ் கெட் ஸ்டார்டட் பிஃபோர் தட் லெட்ஸ் செக் அவுட் த இன்க்ரீடியன்ஸ் நீடட் டு மேக் பிரெட் அல்வா யோர் ஐ ஹாவ் டேக்கன் எயிட் ஸ்லைசஸ் ஆஃப் பிரெட் விச் ஐ ஹாவ் கட் இட் இன் கியூபிக் பீசஸ் One fifty grams of sugar, dates and some raisins and watermelon seeds, three tablespoon of ghee and some cashews, hundred ml of milk, or three to four tablespoon of condensed milk, and a pinch of cardamom powder. So guys let's start the preparation now Into a non-stick saucepan I have added 3 to 4 tablespoon of cooking oil Into it I am adding in 3 tablespoon of ghee Once the ghee and the oil comes up for nice and hot stage Add in the cashews and fry this until it turns nice and golden brown Once it is fried take this in a bowl and keep this aside Into the same ghee oil add in the cubic breads and fry this until it turns nice and golden brown now it is turned into nice and golden brown now at this stage take this in a bowl and keep this also aside into the same saucepan add in 150 g of sugar and measure the sugar in cup or some bowl it is 1 is to 1 1 cup of sugar then 1 cup of water you needed to add once the sugar dissolves and comes up for a boil that is a stage now the sugar syrup is come up for a boil at this stage add in the fried bread and the bread has to get cooked well in the sugar syrup Now the bread is cooked well it is turning nice and soft it is absorb the sugar syrup once you get this thick jelly kind of consistency at this stage you need to add in 100 ml of milk that is thick milk and mix this all together and let this boil well until it get the thick consistency of the halwa now we have got the thick consistency add in 1 tablespoon of ghee and keep mixing it until the bread and the ghee separates from each other so you can see the ghee, oh, ghee is popping up at this stage add in a pinch of cardamom powder and the dry fruits keep cooking it by mixing it for another 1 minute now you can see the ghee is just popping it is got separated from alva this is a perfect texture at this stage add in the condensed milk and mix this all together well now our delicious Red alva is ready to sell. So guys, do definitely try this and let me know in the comment section how it turned out. Let me taste. Hmm. This is super delicious. So guys, see you all in my next video. Until then, take care. See you. Bye-bye.